All right, everybody. I don't know how to do Paul Stanley. Here you go. There's stars. There's stars. There's stars. Iceman. Now look at this thing. This thing is flipping beautiful. It's got a mother of pearl binding all the way around. Neck. Look at that friggin' inlay. Look at this. Look at the back. Don't want anybody to think any stupid. There we go. So if you flip that around, it's J. J96104. So, here you go. No, it's me, Michael D. Rock Legend. How do you like these? Tore up. Okay, I don't know. All you KISS guys out there, and girls, KISS fans, do you remember the auction? They had, like, a long time ago. It was uh, 2000s, early 2000s, mid, you know, like 2000. I know I was, I was either just married or just before I got married. I can't remember. They had an auction. They were auctioning off everything. I mean, entire costumes. And I really wanted to get a love gun something. But they were just going for crazy prices. And I'm like, I just, I'm not going to do it. The only I was going to get the uh, cracked mirror, shattered mirror, warlock, but that's the makeup years. So you just look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guitar. Look at this thing. It still has, I still have the plastic on it. I, I played this on four demos uh, back in like 2006, me and the singer for Fatal Detroit distraction fatal attraction may uh, did a few songs and he sang or he was vocals we'll just say and uh i used this and i used my paul stanley washburn uh thing and those two this and that together just sounded great now all the demos the, the stuff i've been recording like Oh, you know, all 70 views, at whatever. It's Dolly Gare there. It's 120-something views. 140. But uh, every time I get up, go to record, I bring a guitar. It doesn't seem to want to stay in tune, so I just grab my friend's uh, Paul, or Les Paul. It's got JVs in it, and boom, done. Tune it, go. That's why you're not hearing any bar, because I, like, where's the bar in there? Because every time I bring something up, and it's staying tuned. So anyways, many years ago, they had a, a, what do you, an auction, kiss auction, a big time. I said, yes, I want to go. You had to buy, you know, passes, and, uh, they would send you a book or give you a book. I can't remember. But th <laughs> this is so sad. So anyways, I bought these. I think they're alive. I don't know what what they are. W when he wore these. I think it's alive. The alive costume. I don't think it's Love Gun. I can't remember. Because it certainly isn't Destroyer. But uh, anyways... I wanted them because they were used. He used these. And these feathers were messed up. But they gave it to me in like a bag. A plastic 
bag that was zip tight, like zip buttoned, and so no moisture could get in there and, and mess up. I found these in my garage in a box that had been destroyed by water. And I'm pulling stuff out, and I'm like, oh, no! So, I, I mean, these things are just falling off. So, uh, they were kind of jacked up when I got it because, you know, Paul just kind of threw it in there and they couldn't repair it because then it wouldn't be original. But these are actual Paul Stanley. You got fat arms. But, uh, yeah, so I'm like, oh, well, they're destroyed. I might as well wear them because I never wore them. I didn't want to ruin them. But here you go. I wanna rock and roll all night. Do you love me? Do you love me? What the hell? I guess he doesn't, you know, he sounds like crap live now, you know. There's a, more of an excuse. But, uh, so what, what is there to say? What is there to say? I'm asking you. Um, I, every time I talk, it's about Randy Rhodes. It's about something with the... Okay, so here's one thing. Uh, someone said, go down, next time you go down and talk to the, you know, Kathy and... Richard, film it. No! That's the last thing they want. I mean, they're sending their son out to do news interviews. They are, they don't, the last thing they want is this camera stuck in their face. The roads are pissed. They are pissed off because they think they know who did it. I think I know who did it. Of course, I'm not going to tell you. And they feel like they've been stabbed in the back. Or as a song goes by Fatal Dragon, skip down to the back, kicked in the head, it's my turn now, mother, you're dead. Die, motherfucker. That was a good song. Um, Mindless Killer, that's what it was called. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
anyways these are ruined so that sucks but this is still beautiful here's a question you know these aren't the uh, real knobs or the real knobs the should I put the other ones back on or or keep these because I bought these a long time ago when I was and uh, actually had to re-drill them so they would come out six three sixes but uh, so this is the J model and as soon as he got you know cut the deal with Ibanez to have this done which is basically taking a Paul Stanley model put a new paint job on it and this is the first ever production model to come with a, a tremolo I was going to say Floyd, but it's not. It's a low pro, Ibanez low pro uh, thing. What does it say? Oh, that's right. Yeah, see, so this actually does, it's not a low pro. And this is real. I mean, I bought this in 98, 96. It had been hanging in West LA Music hanging on the wall it started in the front and it crept its way further and further back because the owner thought it was the ugliest guitar he's ever seen in his life i think it's beautiful personally i think it's one of the most cool with the just the candy green flake it's really a beautiful paint job and it's got really nice this is a high output pickup i don't know what the hell it is it's an ibanez thing this is hb whoa i don't know i don't pay much attention the other one is uh something a v something but it's mounted to the body and you know i've had this thing apart a little bit looked inside there is this is a flawlessly made guitar there's no overspray anywhere. There's nothing. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> and it was so overlooked. And as soon as he, you know, Rob broke up uh, White Zombie after they toured with Pantera, boop! Band's gone. This guy loses the deal. So they only made about 100, I guess. I've tried to find out what this means. I mean, because they said, uh, well, J means Japan. No, because it actually says made in Japan right there. The script, that's their custom shop or was. It, it, but it's a made in Japan, which it does right under the. And the. I guess they make fake ones. But see, you, you see the fake ones? You see how everything lines up? These line up on stars. That is right in the middle of a star. The stars are just not thrown all over. They're strategically placed. Just like the polka dot V. Because I was on Sandoval's site last night. I'm considering letting him do a, either a guitar, a a V, which he's just, that's all he does is make those friggin' Vs. He's made thousands of them by now. And uh, now it's not that cool. And I have one of the Vs. When I bought, just before I bought the Jackson V that I sh played the other day, that's number three off the line. Number three off the line. Custom Shop Jackson, USA, San Dimas, all the friggin' stuff. 1997, I think it was made, whatever. If you... I, I put the serial number up there. You look it up, it'll tell you exactly when it was made and everything. Where... Everything. And I thought you guys would really trip out on that guitar, and no one hardly said anything. Of course, Paolo... My buddy, he's been so cool that I actually spent two hours uploading each one song at a time, uh, a show, Blizzard show that he was at. 
And you can hear him screaming through the whole thing. And I thought, well, how cool is that? Who cares what it sounds like? You know, he can hear him. And he's he knows what he's hearing. So he's happier than hell. So that's my gift to you. And if you ever want a copy, you let me know. I'll just send it to you free. Everybody else, 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, for that, 20 is... But for the soundboard one, I'm going to have to start charging more because I'm just, I got to keep going, buy more CDs, buy more cases, and, and it takes time to burn these things. Sometimes my computer doesn't want to work, and I'm not going to use that Apple, so, or app, the Apple Core that I have, the PC. <laughs> man so
when I go up and record next time. This is a badass guitar! I forgot how beautiful this thing is. God! So, do you think I should keep the dice on? Or, they kind of blend in. I mean, I, I'm looking at the screen. You know, the playback screen on the camera. It looks good. I don't know, you tell me. 
but yes, this is like one of the very last ones they built. And it sat there at West LA Music and they were asking like I think it was about 18, 19 at first or no, it was over 2000. Then it went down to 17. And then it went down to 14 and they kept moving it further back and I knew someone that used to work there actually I think I worked there for a day or two, or went in to help somebody, a friend of mine's friend, who's a friend of mine, uh, pretty sure Craig, George, if I'm not mistaken, Craig worked there, right? And I went to Nam with Craig because he was working at West LA Music, right? Those guns, man. So, or I guess with the Paul Stanley, huh? Look at those feathers. Looks like a dead bird is laying on, oh man! so pissed the feathers were messed up because they had been in storage and they were just thrown in there with paul stanley sweat all over it so i bought these for like a couple a couple thousand it was only like three hundred dollars and this is at the auction the kiss auction so these everything was worn by some member of kiss at one time and of course this is Paul and I'm pretty sure it's the alive or it might be the because that I can't remember what year it was you guys you tell me you'll remember I'm because it's pre coma so I'm having a hard time getting the year but I, I know I've still got the hard it's a book a hardcover book thick Filled with everything that was going to be uh, going up on uh, for auction, and I just went down there and I only bought like three things. I was going to go down there and just like blow sixty, seventy thousand dollars, and I'm like, I saw people blowing three hundred thousand dollars for an entire Gene Simmons love gun. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. And the guitar that I wanted went for not that much, really. But, yeah, I told you once, uh, or when I used to work at a music store, Killeen Music in Burbank, Killeen Music, uh, we had the Gene Simmons Axe Bass, the Kramer, and I used to whop, wipe that thing down, and they had it forever. They got it in, in 1979, I think it was, and it sat there, and sat there, and sat there, and sat there, because no one would pay... 250 bucks for it. I bought like five Les Pauls, Gibson Les Pauls, late 60s, early to mid 70s. I'd buy them all the time as backups for my star. I didn't want to play them, but I needed a backup. So at one point I had five, and I'd pick them up for like 200 bucks, 220 bucks, 250 bucks, you know. A 59 Gibson Les Paul, like everybody's going ape poop over now, you could get one for a few hundred bucks. No big deal. I bought my Ibanez Thunderbird bass. 76, a 76 Gibson Thunderbird bass. I bought it for four, 500 bucks. I don't know. Torgerson, you tell me. Jim Torgerson is the guy that sold it to me. And how much do those suckers go for now? So anyways, I said, I will give you $700 for this. And they said, no, we can't do it. I go, tell your dang boss that I will give him $700 cash for this right now. And he came out and he said, I can't do it. I'm like, well, okay, then cash is off the table then. Uh, here's my card. Uh, and I said, what did I say? 800 He goes, uh, well, with case, I go, no, don't start that crap. I want the case, I don't want the guitar, I'm walking out, taxes and everything, it's not going to be over $800, so make sure you calculate it, and the guitar's gone. You've had it here for a couple of years, I know you don't like it, I know you think it's ugly, let me have it. He's like, sell it to him, get the case. I'm like, I remember, I bought this. And you know where I took it? Zuma Beach. 
and I sat on the beach and played this just plain and I'm like this is beautiful this thing is for some reason this was just like the ultimate guitar when I bought it and I just bought that polka